I apologize for hiding my identity from you for so long. I am your grandfather. I disguised myself as Munchie so that I could travel alongside you and see that you were all right. I understand you must be shocked. Anyone would be. And now I will fulfill my promise to unravel the mystery of your birth for you. It is quite a long tale, however. May I suggest we adjourn to my home, where we can speak at our leisure. Very well. I shall transport you back to the sanctuary. Please visit me again once Chen Mui has satisfied your curiosity. There is still much for us to discuss as well. You have earned the right to undertake the Dragovian Trials. Again, home again. The power of the Lord of the Dragovians is a wondrous thing. Well then, there is something I would like to give you. Follow me. a keepsake of your mother, Shia. It was given to her as a present by your father. Does the jewel set in the ring seem familiar at all? I thought it might. It's an Argon heart, obtained by your father 20 years ago, during his initiation as Prince of Argonia. Long ago, some 20 years previous, a curious Dragovian girl by the name of Xia decided to visit the world of the humans. There, she chanced to meet a young prince named El Trio. It was love at first sight. But her father, Chen Nui, none other than yours truly, objected. He took Shia back home to the Dragovian Sanctuary so that the couple could never meet again. He thought it was the right thing to do. He believed there would never be any way for a Dragovian and a human to build a happy life together. But he was wrong. His foolish decision caused no end of sadness and tragedy for his beloved daughter, Shia. Shortly after Chen Nui forced his daughter back to the sanctuary, a human body was found just outside. It was El Trio. He had fought desperately to find Shia again, but died just before reaching the gates of the sanctuary. The death of her true love wounded Shia to her very soul. She plunged into an inconsolable sorrow. Her life ebbed away from her day by day. One day, even while absorbed in her grief, Shia realized that she was pregnant with El Trio's child. Every single one of the Dragovians objected but she stood firm and decided to keep the baby. Xia delivered a healthy baby boy, but in her weakened state, she never recovered from the strain of childbirth and passed away soon after. The Council of Elders convened a discussion to decide 
what should be done about the half-human, half-Dragovian child. It took several years, but finally, the Council of Elders announced their final decision. The child's memory would be sealed away, and he would be banished from the sanctuary forever. Needless to say, by this time, Chen Mui had changed his mind. He argued against the cruel and closed-minded decision at great length. But the Council of Elders refused to reverse it. Chen Mui cursed himself for his powerlessness. Shortly thereafter, the Lord of the Dragovians used his power to seal away the child's memories, and the boy was expelled from the sanctuary. The boy was Chen Mui's last remaining connection to his only daughter. He knew he could never truly abandon the child. So, Chen Mui begged the Lord of the Dragovians for permission to follow his grandson into the human world. The Lord of the Dragovians told Chen Mui that he would only allow it if Chen Mui disguised his true appearance as a mouse and never spoke directly to the boy. Considering the hardship his grandson would be facing as an exile and an orphan in a totally new and unknown world, Chen Mui made up his mind at once. He transformed himself into the likeness of a mouse and chased after the boy as quickly as he could. And now you know the whole story. My apologies for keeping it from you until now. Please forgive this doddering old man. As for the ring, I would like you to have it. I think Shia, your mother, would have wanted it that way. Perhaps you should have another look around the sanctuary. Or would you like to hear the story again? Hardly a surprise, given the length of the tale. Let us make our rounds of the sanctuary and tell everyone of your valiant service to the Dragovian elders. So we now know the history behind the main character. Let's take a look at that ring. It increases his attack by a lot, but it doesn't help in the terms of defense or other abilities. I will be equipping it later, but for now I'm going to keep it as it is. Let's head to the uh, elders first. Alright, I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna explain how the Dragovian trials are gonna work. decided to take the Dragovian Trials. I hope you'll allow me to accompany you as Munchie again. Actually, it isn't a request. We've come together this far. I have every intention of us staying together until the end. Let us go then to the Heavenly Dais, where the Lord of the Dragovians Awaits. <coughs> All right. Here's how the Dragovian trials are going to work. Uh, since you've already seen me run through the area, it'd be kind of pointless to run through it again. I will be doing it all off-screen, except for the battle with the Lord of the Dragovians himself, as well as the, sub the subsequent reward I get from him. Uh, I'll explain this in a little more detail. The Dragovian trials are a, pa a way for people, the true, the Dragovians, to tr show the true worth to their race. Um, 
when you defeat Lord of Dragovians, because you have to battle him to show your worth, he'll give you a list of prizes that you can choose from. There is a sword of the Dragovians, a helmet, an armor, and a shield that all belong to Dragovians, a legendary beast, and the ultimate alchemy pot, which is where you just throw two, thing, two or three things at the alchemy pot, two seconds later it pops out finished. <laughs> which I will be getting. I love that. When you finish them all, uh, you, you unlock the hidden ending of the game, which I will be showing as well in a bonus video. But that's how this is going to end. How it's going to work, and that's how this is going to end for now. So I shall see you next time when we take on the first part of the Dragovian Trials. See you then.